and I put the measurement on it? Who am I? I got back to square one where I was before. Do you want tomato basil soup and grilled cheese? Literally playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> Don't fall on my head. I did it, I did it, I did it. It's nice and cozy when you're in here. Like, this is a vibe. Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 14? I do not know. Wait, let me look at my calendar. I don't know why I can never remember. 14! Okay, well, today, today, this morning, I spent working on things, uh, working on videos, getting them live, renovation video thing, all the things. And now, I was gonna go, um, see my mom and then I passed her and I was like, oh, wait. And so she's here. We are gonna go eat. Kinsley, you're gonna be a very good girl. Very good girl. Okay. No, you stay, stay. I'm also kind of still working. I'm starving. It's so windy. It's like kind of insane. It's blowing everything over. It blew my tree over. It's, bl oh, it flipped around all the, <laughs> look at this, you guys. That's so sad. It's super windy. It's bringing cooler weather. It's like at least 15 degrees cooler today than it was yesterday. It's because it's kind of been feeling like summer. So now I'm going with my mom. We're going to go eat. I'm going to, I have my computer. We're going to, I still have work to do. I want to put the Christmas lights up. My dad brought me the ladder. Just things are happening. You know what I mean? Let's go eat first. And I also want to kind of work on the cabinet doors today. Get it right in my mind. Start working on them. I really... I want to take a pretty good stab at it. I got a couple days. If I can bust them out in a couple days, that would be... Oh my gosh. They have tomato basil soup. I'm getting grilled cheese. Do you want tomato basil soup and grilled cheese? Oh, Look at Bentley in the purse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, we're going to do two teas. Two bowls of the tomato basil and two of the... What's the grilled cheese that you have? The Yes, that. Already have already. That's it, right? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. This looks Have you ever had the Artie Gavardi grilled cheese? So good. Santa, I'm waiting for him, but he's nowhere inside. And all of the presents are still by the tree. Was he struggling to get out? <laughs> <laughs> kind of twisted over. Yeah, he's mouth. like, oof. Yeah, no, it feels That's like traffic, I know, right? Lunch was great, but it's time. I think I'm gonna work on my cabinet doors today. Oh, good. Yeah. I was kind of disappointed that I didn't have them all done so, so that I could paint them, because it's actually been kind of warm, like yeah. warm enough to paint. And now I'm gonna work on them and I guarantee you the temperature's gonna drop and it's gonna be cold again. And I'm not gonna- 27 tonight, I know, I'm telling you. 27. Okay, you ready to drive, Bentley? So disappointing. Okay. To be honest, oh, this keeps coming in lunch. To be honest, it has been a little bit, hey Kinsley, it has been a little bit since I've worked on cabinet doors for the kitchen. And since it's been a little bit, I've lost my paper that I made and my diagram of the bottom shelves. So I have actually cut quite a few. I was like working in sections, so I sketched out, measured out and everything and did the bottom cabinets along the back wall and cut and routered a lot of them. And then that's where I stopped. I moved on to another project. Here's a cabinet door. So when I cleaned up the patio, I made this box of them so that they were all together. I can like lay them out or something. And I know I had like a number system. Okay, this one's finished. Let me move this one over here. This says three. It says three, and I put the measurement on it. Who am I? Okay, three. Some of them are identical because I kind of mirrored the kitchen on each side of the oven. This is two. So there's there's more. Hi, <laughs> baby girl. She likes coming out on this patio now that it's clean. Two, 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 seven, three. It's four, one. One, five, one, one, seven. Okay, now that I've actually done cabinet doors too, 
I did the ones in the living room. That was the first set that I had installed. And I did find that I had messed up on one and I kind of had to re-cut a piece. Now that I understand how the hinges work and it only overlaps a half inch onto the face frame, I can like reassess this before I like get all into like finishing and then making them. At this stage, they've only been cut and routered. I could totally cut new pieces. So let me grab a piece of paper. We'll write down these measurements and what I have and then we'll go and measure in the kitchen. One of you guys commented on the renovation video that I bet it was so easy to do those DIY projects now that it's like all your tools are organized. Literally, so I knew where everything was. That project went so well. I had all of my tools that I needed right where I needed them to be. Number one. And so this is actually two pieces. So how I have more control over cutting the pieces and putting them through the router and making them so straight is that I actually used wider pieces of board and then I slim them down to the three inches that is the surround of the actual door. So this is actually two. And this is actually two. So this makes a top and bottom of one cabinet. This makes a top and bottom of one cabinet or sides or whatever it is. So I have two cabinets here. Number one is times two at eight and a half, 19. And then number two, I have four cabinets at 11 by 19. Okay. So now that I have that, I have my cut list at least. I have, I have, so now that I have the pieces. Kinsley, let's go inside and measure the cabinets. Come on, come on. Most of these are, come on. I'm gonna have to give her a treat to get her inside. That's so bad, I'm training a monster. Kinsley, you want your treat? <laughs> come on, let's go. I'll get you one. Most of the bottom ones are drawers. Because I prioritized putting a lot of drawers on the bottom. I like to organize drawers better. They're just, I find that, you know, cabinets went on top, drawers on the bottom. That's kind of how my brain organized the kitchen. Come on, I'll get you a treat. You have to show everybody your trick. Kinsley, you want this? Twirl, sit, high five. Good girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Good girl. So talented. Okay, so yeah, I definitely, I don't, I don't know what I did. So I'm gonna draw, this is my um, pieces list. I have some that are already done and completed. I've done, I think seven cabinet doors for the all the fridge and then up there. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've done this whole thing. So we're really prioritizing this side on this side of the oven and then all the way to the wall on that side of the oven. I'm gonna kind of draw it. So we have this side. And then the oven, and then this side is a lot longer. And then we have the spice rack, and then three cabinets, and then the same on this side, spice rack. It's not really gonna be to scale here. <laughs> three drawers, and then a drawer and a cabinet door on the bottom and then three drawers here. This drawer is already done. I can't believe I lost that paper. This is gonna be kind of hard. Eight and a half tall has got to be top drawers. So top drawer, shoot, I don't know. One had to have been, I started. So I have this one at 19, that's not right. Oh, these aren't the actual measurements of the finished product because they actually fit into each other. So it's it's 19. So these are going to be 31 by 10.5 plus 6 minus 0.5 equals 16. Yes. Okay, I think I think we're doing good. All the drawers along the top are all the same width. And then the second and third drawers are all the same width. So there's some symmetry and some balance. My neighbor just started mowing the lawn. <laughs> I did it. I, I got back to square one where I was before. I shouldn't have had to fix, I shouldn't have lost it. Here is the master plan for the bottom cabinets. That looks really good. I got all my pieces accounted for, all the measurements look good, and all of the pieces are cut. I just have to cut all the pieces in half and then put them together, cut the plywood. And then all, one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cabinets along the bottom will be complete. All of these from that corner to here and then all here. And then I have all of these done. That makes me feel so much better because I felt like, I was like, oh my gosh, I have those pieces, but they've been moved around the patio so much. I've lost the paper. I can like now have all of them cut and I can knock them out pretty quickly as well. But um, I have a little bit of computer work to do and then we'll see how much time we have. How is it already dark? I still feel so early because it's, oh, it's only five. But guess what came? Already. I must be really close to like some kind of Amazon hub of some kind. I hope this, I think this is what I think it is. Yes. Well, like, okay. It can go that fast. Oh, I'm so excited for it to be gold. When it was, I was real disappointed. Look how, that's so nice. I was really disappointed when the one that we actually ordered in our package, when you order appliances and plumbing, you can get them from all different places or like more readily available, like big box stores, or you can get the like higher end, like collections. You could get them from like one place, like you can go to an appliance and plumbing place. So we went to Ferguson's and looked at everything, looked at all the different um, brands and stuff. And we ordered a package. So we kind of built our home with all the things that we needed for all the bathrooms and the kitchen. Um, so when we built the package, she added the this on there, but for some reason it was so much taller, if you remember. So when we went last night to uh, to the hardware store, they didn't have any gold ones, but so this is the traditional one that, that gets in. This is the gold. Now, will it last? I hope so. <laughs> but this just did not look designer to me. This looks designer. This is the one I ordered, but look how tall it is. Like it didn't work. So when my plumber installed the garbage disposal and the drain and everything, he was like, this one's not gonna work. This one's too, it wouldn't, basically my sink isn't that deep. So I need, we needed all of this to be closer to the top or something. I, I don't know, it didn't work. So now we have this one. So we're gonna try and put it in because I like this a lot, lot better uh, than this, than the, Kind of like, I don't know, silver. So I'll let you know in like a year how, how it looks or how it's holding up. Look how nice. That's beautiful. Okay, so how do we do this? We have all the pieces here, save them all, obviously. And I bought some putty. This is plumber's putty, I got this last night. I saw him do this, like I watched him. Kind of like Play-Doh. It's kind of looks like, and he kind of took some out and he rolled it into like a snake, literally like 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 Play-Doh. For setting bowls, fixtures, faucets, sink frames, and strainers will not crack, separate, crumble, harden, or shrink. So I'm gonna roll, literally play with Play-Doh. Okay, and he put it around like this. I feel like I use too much, but it's okay. Okay, I have my drill and the little pieces. These Kinsley do not run off with these. So we're, we're gonna reinstall it. What he did have was a helper and me. So I actually held it in place from the top of the sink while he was kind of making it really tight. I only have Kinsley and I don't know if she's strong enough. Which way did this go? Okay, I have to Google. Hold on, hold the phone. Hold. I got it. I just had to look at a diagram of it. I always like to work smarter, not harder, you know? And I, and I feel like putting the screws in something before you actually put it up always works in my favor. Don't fall on my head. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I got the ring on. And that holds everything in place like that. Did I do it? Did I do it? I can't tell. I felt like it should click, but it's not that. In my process, this kind of slipped out a little bit. I think I did it. 
Let's run some water. No leaking. It's running down the drain. He said it's, you know, it's just like excess putty here. Just gotta remove that. Run the water again. You remember when I was like, oh, installing a garbage bowl is so easy. It's heavy. But I did it. I did it. That looks so much better than that silver. You guys, right after I finished that, I could just feel the temperature dropping outside. Like it was just getting colder and colder. So I like cranked up the heat, I cranked up the fireplace. I was like, it's, it's like, it's time. We gotta crank this baby up. It's like, it's, my mom said it's supposed to be 27 degrees tonight. So that's below freezing. I am making some fried rice. <laughs> I don't know, Romeo said it and was like, oh, something, something fried rice. And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds good. Do we have stuff to make fried rice? And he goes, yeah, you have rice, you have garlic, you have other things. I'm like, okay. It's like the first time I've cooked since he's been gone. So making some fried rice, I was on the couch just like finishing up some um, planning. I've been working on like 2023. Not really set goals, just to kind of be like, okay, like restart, reset, restart. You know, reflect on the, the past year. I've been also, I need to film um, my last renovation video for the year, which is absolutely crazy. More gonna be like looking back at the, I always like to do my last video of the year is like a look back at everything that we've done. More like, but I think for, for both of us, like I like to look back and kind of like see where even just the kitchen was at this time last year versus now you know, that I'm, we're living here. Like this year has been major, we're living here now. I mean, I'm somewhat cooking in here. You know, like I don't have the stove installed, but I do have the stove. I can just get someone to install it. That would be great. So just to look back at all the projects and I feel like for me, it allows me to like really see and appreciate everything that I've been through and I've accomplished because I think it's really easy for me to just look at how much still needs to be done and feel like I'm not making any progress. But in reality, I actually am making a lot of progress and it we have done a lot and that should be just a great accomplishment instead of me looking at it and being like, oh my gosh, I have so many cabinet doors to make. I have all these little things to do. Um, you know, there's still rooms that aren't even finished, but I mean, we have done a lot. Kinsley's already had her dinner. Oh, you didn't eat it all. I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Come see. Okay. Fine. Twirl your way away. Come see. Okay. Every time I go first, she twirls. Come see. Yep. And twirl. <laughs> so since we changed the living room back to this way, how we had it, well, at least the couch, how we had it uh, before we got the rug, it's it grows on me. It's like, I like it when I'm in the living room. I really like it. It's like this whole situation is nice. Like sitting here looking straight. I think I just don't like being outside looking in on it for some reason. It's like, it's so blocked, but it is really nice when you're in here and it does open it up. Um, I think it's just about getting the right items. Do you know what I mean? And then once we have the right items, we can see what layout actually works really well um and then the tree's gone and i can like actually process it but it's nice and cozy when you're in here like this is a vibe i'm gonna eat kinsley's gonna yell at me we're gonna watch some tv together i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog we will see you again tomorrow for another one huh you gonna tell him we're gonna see him tomorrow huh hi what i bet you there's a baby somewhere down here oh oh there it is that one? That one? Give it to me, I can't reach it. Look, good girl. Oh.